This video discusses the new terrain stack in TerraSculptor 3.0. The terrain stack is one of the most powerful features in TerraSculptor 3.0. The terrain stack allows for non-destructive workflow editing of terrain systems. It includes per-item masking for multi-biome creation and for modifier region flexibility, and item grouping for controlling item build priority. Stacks can also be saved and loaded for building up a library of useful terrain editing functions. The toolbar contains all of the functions for controlling the terrain stack system. This includes such functions as adding new items, rearranging items, loading and saving, and collapsing the stack to the selected item. The base terrain in the terrain stack is the main terrain in the viewport that is created when a new project or new terrain is chosen. The base terrain is also the terrain that all of the immediate mode menus operate on. This terrain height map is duplicated up the stack when new items are added as the default height map before the items are edited and built. The Add a New Item Toolbar button brings up the New Terrain Stack Item dialog. This allows you to choose devices to add to the terrain stack. These devices include generators, noise maps, modifiers, and more. Devices can be chosen from the All Group list or from specific lists based on the Main Menu Item categories. New devices are always added to the end of the Terrain Stack Item list. Any device can be added in any order, but they should make logical sense for a proper terrain construction workflow. To display the Edit dialog for a device on the stack, choose the Edit Device Toolbar button, double-click on the Height Map thumbnail, or press Ctrl plus E when the item has the focus. This will display the standard Edit dialog for that device, the same as if it was chosen from the main menus. On the Edit dialog, the parameters for the device can be changed or updated. A device is typically built after editing, so that its current data map can be viewed. The Item Properties dialog can be displayed by double-clicking on any item or by pressing the Enter key when the item has the focus. The Item Properties dialog allows for editing the device group and the device comment. It also shows a thumbnail of the current height map and mask for the item. Many of the devices that are added to the terrain stack can support a mask that is used to mask the region of the terrain height map that the device affects. To view and assign the item mask, choose the Edit Mask Toolbar item, double-click on the mask thumbnail, or press Ctrl-M when the item has the focus. The following image shows a height map where the modifier effect is masked to a single region of the terrain. In this case, rain erosion is only on the mountain. Build priority groups can be assigned to items on the terrain stack. There are 16 groups available, with 16 different colors to differentiate what group they are in. A build all will use the groups to determine the build order from 0 first to 15 last. This allows for building sections of the terrain stack first that other sections of the terrain stack are reliant on, such as building the masks before building the modifiers that use the masks.
There are a number of build options when working with the terrain stack. These include build item, build from item, build to item, and build all. The build all method respects the build priority groups assigned to items. The build order is typically from the base terrain down to the final device item. However, build priority groups can override this process. The entire terrain stack can be collapsed to the current selected item. This can be performed when the terrain stack design is completed or to reduce memory use to the current data map only. The terrain stack can be independently loaded or saved to disk. This allows for creating a library of terrain stack layouts or sharing the terrain stack with others. When loading or saving the terrain stack, a question prompt appears asking whether to also load or save the base terrain. This allows for saving the base terrain in the terrain stack file. The following are a few example terrain stacks, showing the height map at each item in the stack list. Example terrain stacks can also be downloaded from the TerraSculptor Free Assets Google Drive folder.